please rise. Let's sing. If everybody could please stand to their feet and sing with us. I've given you everything that I am. Sometimes it's hard to take a stand for what I believe is true. I fall short to line my way. Show me the path of every day. Then you give me my cause. And I have decided to wait on the Lord. And I have decided that I cannot afford not to know who you are. And I have decided to spread your word through all the earth. And I have decided to love you more and more. Without you, Lord, my life is lost like a storm at sea my boat is tossed but you can calm the wind you give me strength when i am weak you fill my cup make me complete you died to set me free and i have decided to wait on the lord and i have decided that i cannot afford not to know who you Spread your word through all the earth, and I have decided to love you more and more. Worthy, worthy, you are worthy to be praised. Worthy. Kids, if you want to come on down here, it's a special day, and I need all my third graders to come also. So Briggs, come on down here, buddy. You can come right back to them, I promise. Come on down here, everybody. Have a seat with, with Grammy, Sammy, and I. All right, so today is a special day. Come on, everybody, sit down. Come on, Annie. I am so excited to see all of you here today, and I have to tell you that today is a little bit different because something's about to happen, and it's a special thing that happens when you get to a certain grade here in this church. Today, we're going to give third graders, hey guys, give third graders their Bible. Now, the Bible is a great thing, and we hear these Bible stories throughout our lives, but once you get to third grade and you're a little bit better at reading and you have some time, you um, can start to read the Bible and really ask questions and understand, and it helps you to grow in your faith. Now, this is something that especially you third graders and all of y'all when you get older can do for the rest of your life. I am excited to say that two weeks ago, Joshua, you know who Joshua is, my son, right? He texted me and he said, Dad... I've started reading the Bible, I've started in Matthew, and I'm going to read the whole thing. 
So here he is. He'll be 20 tomorrow, and he's reading the Bible, hopefully cover to cover. Well, he's starting in the middle of the New Testament. He's kind of cheating, not starting in the Old Testament. But, and there was a man named Don Charters in our church that he had read, read the Bible from cover to cover eight or nine times in his lifetime. So what you're going to see, now I don't want you to be upset because some of you are not getting a Bible because you're not in third grade, but you're here to see this and see how important it is that you can get in God's word and read it and understand it and it will guide you for the rest of your life. Now, third graders, Briggs and Isaiah, I have, a, I have news for you. I have a deal. We're going to give you this Bible and Pastor Jay has been making this deal since 1998. Now it's improved for inflation, but... Uh, if you read every page of that Bible I hand you and you bring me a signed note from one of your parents, if it is in, I don't know, how long, what's the fastest you could possibly read the Bible? I guess if you stayed home from school for five or six days, perhaps you could get through it, right? But if it's two years from now, if it is ten years from now and you find me and you have read that entire Bible, hundred dollar bill, baby. What? Yeah. And all of you are going to get that same deal, assuming they haven't fired me for wearing tennis shoes, um, uh, when it's your turn. So, the Bible is God's word for all of us. It will speak to you for the rest of your life, and I encourage you to get into it and check out all these cool stories. Now, we have three uh, third graders this year, but Carter is not with us. He'll be with us next week, so we're going to go ahead and present these right now, and I'm going to give them to Sammy, and this is it. This is your real grown-up hardback Bible, okay? This is a real good deal, and this one goes to Briggs McCall. Yeah, you have to shake Grammy ha Sammy's hand the other way because she's, she's a little banged up still. And this one is for Isaiah Henry. All right. And guys, we are so excited. <clears throat> yes. It's big, but the neat thing about this one, <clears throat> I'm going to take yours back just for a second, Isaiah. I promise I'm going to give it back. The neat thing about this Adventure Bible is there are little... Uh, sections in it, let parents see this too, that, that maybe have like, did you know, or life in the Bible times, or, or uh, here's another did you know, here's a live it, where you can take what you learn on this page and apply it to your life. So if there's something you don't understand, read those colored boxes, and if there's still something you don't understand, ask your parents. If there's still something you don't understand, ask Grammy Sammy. If there's still something you don't understand, maybe ask Google. No, not really, but... Um, I, I'd be happy to help you, but this is a, an important day, and I just want to encourage all of you, whether it's your children's Bible or your new adventure Bible, to read, read, read God's Word. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you for these kids. We thank you for these special young men this day that have taken this uh, step into third grade and have gotten their Bibles, Lord. And we just pray that you would be with them as they embark on this journey. We pray for these younger children that they will someday too be up here and get their Bible and embark on the journey of discovering your word. We ask your blessing on each of these kids as they grow in stature and as they grow in relationship with you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, children's church people, Jordan's back there waiting for you, and Grammy Sammy will take you. Everybody else, back to your seats or back to the control center, Briggs. Thank you, ma'am.